Hey guys, Mandy with Tiny Sticky Mama here, and today we are going to tackle that sticky place that I think a lot of us have, the front closet. You know, the place where you kind of come in the house and dump all your crap, if it makes it into the closet, of course. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so you ready? Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, so it's not a complete disaster. I've definitely seen worse and this has been worse. But the way it is right now, it could use a little bit of help. Plus, right now we're in kind of a transitional season, which is a great time to reassess what you need in there in the first place. Since you have things to pull out, like we don't need our winter coats anymore, those can all go. We've got some of the spring jackets kind of floating around but not in their places. Definitely don't really need any hats and gloves right now. It's not that cold anymore. So it's a great opportunity to go in, pull everything out, and only put what you need back in. Okay? Now I'm still probably going to keep most of my zones the same. And what I mean by that is having specific areas that serve specific purposes. In here, we have our shoe cabinet. It holds, you know, everybody's shoes. It's pretty self-explanatory. The space on top kind of gathers loose things, but I want to get more specific about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put some little bins or something up there to divide the space a little bit. Then I have kind of our bag zone, it has my purse, my little girl's purses, so cute. They're six and four, what the heck are they carrying? Mostly rocks. It's mostly rocks. <laughs> and our diaper bag. Then we have gloves and mittens, hats, there's kind of some scarves in the corner there. We're not a big scarf family. And up above, which I'm sure you can't see from that angle, don't worry, you'll get a better look. We've got a picnic basket and a little bin that kind of has some of our cat stuff in it. Um, hanging up, we have coats. We have umbrellas over on the corner there. We have down at the bottom our wagon. Lives in our lives in our front closet because we tend to go out the front door when we go for walks. So it's very convenient for me to be able to just pull it out and push it back in. It folds up, which I think the folding wagon is one of the best inventions ever. So good. Anyway, then we also have this basket down here. Now what that basket does for us is it gives us a place to let the kids drop their coats because like I said, my oldest is six, I've got a four-year-old and I've got um, a toddler who's almost two. The six-year-old can reach the hangers and hang up her own coach, does a really good job of it most of the time. The four and the two-year-old, not so much. So I let them just drop them in the basket. And then one of the things that I'll give my six-year-old sometimes as a chore is go hang up the coats. Or sometimes, you know, I'll run through and do it quick tidy and I'll hang them up myself. But it, so it kind of collects loose things and it also generally houses my daughter's backpack and my shopping bags, um, which I'm not entirely thrilled with, so we're going to see if we can come up with a good solution for that, too. Okay, so before I pull everything out, I promise you guys a closer look of how it is before. So, like I said, up at the top there, we've got the picnic basket, our sc scarves and hats, our bags. There's quite a bit of headspace up there that... I'd like to try to utilize so we'll see what we can do with that too. We've got our umbrellas and coats, We've got kind of the drop zone up there, Ugh. shoe cabinet, and then you can see at the bottom what I meant about that basket. See we've got our fold-up wagon which is the best thing and then this basket that kind of just collects things. You see like there's just all sorts of junk in here. It's not even standing up anywhere. You see that it's just, it's down on the floor. It's pretty sad. And smashed under there is all of my shopping bags that I use. Oh, and a dried out baby wipe. Cool. Good job. All right, so we're all cleaned out. Nice and empty in there. Next up is florganizing. Florganizing, which is pulling everything out and making use of the biggest shelf in the house to really get a look at what you have in the space you're tidying up. You can see it's categorized. Bags coats, hats, scarves and gloves, shoes, etc. 
This is helpful for deciding what goes back in, what you have more of than you need, and keeping things that are going elsewhere with similar items so you can decide where they'll be going. That last bit applies to the stuff returning to the space as well. Seeing how many shoes are going back, for example, helps you determine how best to house them. This is also the perfect opportunity to assess what sort of container needs you will have, if you need more bins, or differently shaped bins, or maybe even less bins for what you're putting back. Okay, so we're all sorted. I've got what I need to put back in there, and it's all on the floor in front of me here, so I know you can't quite see all of it, but now we're going to put it back. I really should let this umbrella go. It's dying, but I love it. I mean, how pretty is that? something that'll help me kind of corral those things. Now, done. You can see I still have pretty defined zones here and now some empty spaces even. Added a few small command type hooks for keys and a lint brush as well as a couple for the girls backpacks. If that spot works well I'll replace them with heavier duty ones. My drop basket is no longer sad and overflowing, and overall, I'm happy. All that's left is to put the former contents in their proper homes, grab a box for the top of the shoe cabinet I forgot, and I'm finished. So you can see, it's not all nicely matched. It's kind of a conglomeration of found items from throughout the house and things I've done, and that's really important. I think, in just getting things done. I mean, because if you wait to find the exact right organizer, the bin, bowl, whatever it is you like to use, you're going to end up living with a mess until you find that thing. And I'd rather put my stuff in a shoebox and have it good to go waiting for when I do stumble upon that just right thing. What's that phrase? Perfect is the enemy of good? You know, this is a good system. It's going to work. I've got zones clearly defined. The kids are going to be able to get what they need to and put it away. Maybe not with their hats, but that's intentional because I don't want them to play dress up with them. Um, the toddler likes to put six hats on and then just throw them all off his head. Like it's the best thing ever. And it's not. <laughs> it's, you know, it's going to work. And I'm pretty happy with what we've done here. So, you know, when you're tackling your space, what, whatever it is, just, you know, roll with what you have. Do what you can. You know, you might not have the perfect containers. You might not have the time to be able to do the whole thing. You know, most of this I did in the space of a nap time. Um, 
and you know for a lot of parents that's how we have to <laughs> compartmentalize our days is when are the kids out of the way and for you you might just have 10 minutes while they're having a snack you know focus on something small do the shoes do the coats you know do what you can if you don't have the time or the space to haul everything out at once do what you can use what you have and get it done I will see you guys again. I have more videos of things that I'm whipping into shape around here. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for me, please, you know, shoot. You know, go ahead and drop them down in the comments section. I will see you guys next time. Good job. The other thing we're gonna do while we're in here is we're gonna wipe some things down. And you see, there's a whole empty thing. Where are those shoes? Where are those shoes? There's my little buddy up. I gotta get some babes because my camera is running low on battery. I didn't plan that very well, did I? <laughs>